Okay. Oh. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Great. All right, that should be good. Okay, just need to get our lovely YouTube family out here popping up. Should be live on here. Yes, yes, yes we are. are. Yeah, it's live on Facebook. We're just waiting for the YouTube one. So I am here with Lois Nisha. We've done her prep work and everything, so that is ready to go. And should be live on here. There we go. Switch to this one. All right. So I've done her prep work and everything, and are ready to do her fill. Um. So I have my lovely 106 brush, and I'm going to use Trinity. So with the YouTube, the Facebook one, you have to touch it sometimes because when people talk, it'll just disappear. It's really annoying. But our live chat on here will be fine. All right. So she's got these gorgeous nail beds. Her and her cousin, let me tell you. Both y'all have fabulous nail beds. So with Trinity, I'm just going to pick up a nice ball. Push it around the edges. I leave a little bit of a gap that's going to allow my color to go into that gap. Ignore my gap. My nails need done, but I have a wedding to go to next week, and so I'm kind of stretching out mine an extra week. You know how that is. So you stretch them out so that when you get them done, they're fresher for the event, and I will mess them up massively if I do them before the weekend because I have a really busy week. So. I will do them this weekend, and then there will only be two days where I mess them up. <laughs> so I'm checking the line of light. There's a little bit of a low spot right here. So I'm just going to add a little bit and just tease it right in. It's a longer fill, so you have a little bit more to look for than a short set of nails. But if I look down this, you should see a nice straight line of light. And we're going to go in for three seconds. One two, three. Hey y'all, Jada, Angela, Stephanie, welcome. Okay, my next ball, push, I'm getting behind the gel and pushing it towards the cuticle. And then I'm going to get on top of that. It could actually be a little bit more there. I'm going to get on top of it and glide it down over the nail very lightly like a gloss just pulling down that very top part and then I always brush down the end because there inevitably is a little bump in the front if you don't and freeze that one two three and come back out so I was I've been struggling with um, these videos popping out on me and I talked to some people that know more about this stuff and they said to switch the streaming iPad I'm using. So I'm like, all right, fine. So I stretched to a different iPad. So hopefully we stay connected better today and there's no problems. They think that it was because it's just an old small iPad that I was using that was causing the disconnection. So we will see. So cross fingers, everybody, that today is the start of Better video, better video speeds, and all that jazz. So if you're watching, let me know how everything looks to you. Are things clear and concise? I'm hoping that everything looks good and we stay good and connected and I don't run into any more issues because let me tell you what a pain in the butt that has been. Nice easy fill. Just a little spot right here. Just gonna drop that and wiggle it into that spot. Check line of light, and you go. Hi, I'm using Trinity. Yes, no primer or base. You don't need to. Um, for most clients, I find that I don't need to do anything. I just prep and cleanse the nail and go straight into application. So um, Trinity is built with bonding gel inside of it. It's a three-in-one, which means it has bonding gel, strength, and top coat. So 
you know, when you go back to the traditional gels, those you would have to do a bonding gel and a builder gel and a top coat separately. And Trinity was designed to be an all in one. And I have found that I actually get better adhesion for most clients by not doing anything else. Um, I find that if I use any kind of primers or things like that, I actually see more lifting than if I don't. So, don't need to do anything. Just go straight to putting Trinity on. All right, there's that hand. We go to the next. So the fill process should be relatively quick. If you are learning to apply this, um, the trick is to keep most of your gel right here in the center, and then I'm going to glide it down. So that keeps your fill product where you need it, where that arch needs to be. And then I'm just very lightly glide down over the front. Remove anything off the front bump. That's what I call the front bump. And there you go. In you go. And Jada says, hey, 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 hey. So again, you can roll your ball off, and that way it's right in front of your brush. And push it around. So with the way that I glide it down, so when I talk about touching this here and gliding down, there's not enough. If I didn't have enough, I'm going to add a little bit more because... I could tell that if I tried pulling that down, it wasn't going to leave enough product in that spot. Um, but this is also, this technique is very important to use your flat brush. Because if I use an oval brush, oval brushes have a belly. And when you go to glide that product down, that belly is going to push into the center of the nail. So instead of the brush being like this, it looks kind of like that. And when you glide down that low spot of the brush, you're going to get lines. And so you want to use this flat brush so that there's no belly and that it glides over better as a gloss. Because when you glide it down, you're basically glossing over the nail. So if I feel like I need a little bit more, just grab it in. And I mean, you probably could make the nail flatter by not adding a little bit more, but I do like to have a little bit of a shape, especially when they're this long, you want some arch to it. So get a little bit more of that product back where the arch needs to be for added strength. Just a little piece of lint or something. And if you need to move around your gel, just use the very tip of that point. You know, if I'm trying to float it here and there, don't try to push your whole brush in. Just use that little tip of your brush to float it down. All right, go on in. It happens to me. I was using primer and base with Luminary and still have some. Luminary is a little bit different. Um, I'm not sure as well with day-to-day -day clients on whether Luminary does as well. Um, I don't use it on my day-to-day -day clients because I don't have anyone that does just kind of a builder in a bottle. For those of you who don't know, Luminary is like a builder in a bottle um, that has color to it. So Clarity is the clear, they're, that's their most popular. But I don't use it because one of the reasons is, is I prefer a full brush like this as opposed to a polished bottle brush. I don't get as much control with a polished bottle brush like that comes with Luminary as I do with a full size brush. Hey Val, you're catching a live. Hello, hello. I just, how did we do? Yeah, good. Um, oh, Val wishes I was close to do one on one. That would be fun. Oh, and Marilu says she loves our work as always. So the thumb, it looks like I'm going to need a little bit more than that. So I'm just going to grab some more on my brush and push it from one side to the other. There was a bubble in there, but I'm not going to worry about it right this second. Let me get my job done, and then if the bubble is still there, I'll worry about it. But see, just by touching that, the bubble pops. So don't go worrying about bubbles right from the beginning. It's a time saver to ignore them at first. And then look at your finished product and see if you need to mess with it. So definitely want to pay attention to that. Rotate it around. 
All right, in you go. I used a mini LED lamp to freeze the gel finger by finger saves time. Yeah, you can do that. Um, sometimes the mini LED lamps aren't very good as far as um, strength and curing. So it's only three seconds. I don't mind my clients just going into the light, but that's just entirely up to you. Um, it doesn't, I don't think matter if it's a mini or a full size, but definitely a preference thing. So this is the color I'm going to be using on her. This is Marina. This is from the brand new collection that's out right now, the Paradiso collection. Um, we do have a new collection actually coming out, the bridal collection, but this is the Paradiso collection. So it's this gorgeous turquoise. And we are going to polish this on all of them. And then we're going to use the Profiles new jelly bean color to do some fun stuff on it. Because we like fun color is so pretty. It's really, really gorgeous. For if you, if you like Tiffany or you like um, engagement, this is a great color to add to your collection for sure. Everyone's so quiet today. Did y'all have a good week last week? You know what I started doing last week? I started travel agent training. There's a lot of classes. Did you know how many classes there are? There's so many things to learn. How many? Um, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of training. Wow. So you do like the basic and then you do other trainings for destinations to become experts in them. So I will be able to, because I've forever, I've helped people plan trips. And then I'm like, okay, go here and book this and go here and book this. And, but now I can just do it for people. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I'm going to educate people because what I found is that, and I didn't know this, is that travel agents cost you nothing. Did you know that? There's no charge. There's a little bit over here where there wasn't quite enough trendy. So I'm actually going to use my color to fill in a little bit and by the time I've done my second coat you won't see that that needed a little bit more in that spot um anyway yeah a lot of people didn't know that travel agents don't cost you anything um when you book a hotel on your own whether it's through the hotel itself or Expedia or whatever there's a commission percentage that the hotel gives out now if you're booking on their site they just keep it but if you're booking on Expedia, Expedia gets it. If you book through a travel agent, a travel agent gets it. So it doesn't cost you anything to say, hey, can you book all this stuff for me? I don't want to have to do it and give the information to an agent and they can book it all for you. You pay the same or less because travel agents actually have access to some crazy good pricing. Like you may think, okay, well, Expedia is cheaper than the hotel. That must be the best price. Not necessarily. There's actually a lot of other places that have um, good pricing. Okay, I just noticed a bump here. And instead of trying to fight with it, I'm just going to take my file that I used on her earlier and just smooth that little bump out, and that will fix it. Now it's not there anymore. Um, anyway, so, yeah, I'm excited to help people book stuff because I do love traveling, and... I'm all about finding the best deal, but there's places that um, offer better deals sometimes than what you're seeing on Expedia or TripAdvisor, any of those, and only a travel agent knows, so that's cool. Have you tried Gel X type of enhancements on my clients? So the actual Gel X brand I have not tried, and I'm thinking you're talking about by using a tip and making extensions with that. Um, I have done that process with Trinity, using Trinity as my bonding gel for the tip and then Trinity over the top of the nail. I've done that. Um, and it worked great. I did it on myself because I really wanted to see how it worked. But I actually don't do a lot of new sets because my clients come back and their nails look great. So they don't need a new set. Um, and so unless I had somebody new, and lately the couple of full sets I've done, I do sculpting full sets. 
but I don't do them very often. I think the last time I did it, I videotaped the whole thing. So you could go back a couple weeks ago and even see when the last full set I did was. Um, but I don't do full sets very often and definitely don't use tips very often. I prefer sculpting, but for a lot of people, they like the ease of using a tip. Um, but I'm a big fan of not using glue to apply the tip. So using gel to apply the tip is fantastic. Um, so I haven't played with, we do have some tips from a couple of companies on our store. And if I could get a model in, I guess I could do a sample set and see how it works with those tips. Um, there's some nails are real. cool ones. Hmm? But my nails are real. Your nails are real. These are your own grown out beauties. So it's very fun that way. Wow, mm -hmm. Facebook is quiet today. We got some people in there, but nobody talking. All right. We're going to do our second coat of this gorgeous color. Again, this is Marina. This is from the new Paradiso collection. I bet she could pull off Cabana, which is a new right, bright orange or uh, yellow. Mm. Yellow looks so good on dark skin. Mm -hmm. And Lisa, my client who was here earlier, she's also looking for looking forward to the yellow. She said next time, next time she's doing yellow. Because this time we did pink and her toes are she said won't match the yellow. So next time she has toes too. So then she'll be doing yellow. So we will do cabana on her. Pretty sure. Cabana or she goes neon. She goes all the way to starburst, the neon yellow. Oh, that's pretty. But I guess it just depends. You know, it's it's pre-summer. Yeah. We don't want to call it summer yet, but it's, it's nice days. This week we're going to get to 66 mm -hmm. on Friday. I love that. What do you like to do in the sunshine? Oh, I just like to absorb some of that free vitamin D. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to take my pill. I was been low on vitamin D, so my me doctor too. actually prescribed me some vitamin D, and I'm supposed to take it every week. And I, God, this you're fifty thousand units a week too. Yep. Oh. You too. I didn't because I've been taking mine daily, so I did pretty mm. good for myself. Yeah. But when I don't, yes, I do for like about eight weeks, maybe. Yeah, that's what I think they gave me. I think they gave me a month, and then I have to go back and get another prescription for another month. I have a friend, she's on 50,000 units a day, but I think it's because oh. she's had gas Hold on, gastric bypass, and so Ooh. she doesn't absorb it very well. Yeah. Always double check to try to get anything out of the sides if possible. So she put that right in. I couldn't fix it. Sometimes just the way the gravity is, especially with longer nails, it kind of starts to pull on the end. So just want to get these cleaned up as much as I can before I add some more fun stuff. Because we're going to go on top of this with the fun jelly bean. You guys are probably just waiting for the jelly bean. Do you want to see that? So yeah, my new travel agency is called Recipes to Travel. Isn't that cute? I'm going to put together a cookbook huh, of yeah. trips that I've done before mm -hmm. that I really liked the itinerary and stuff like that. So I'm going to write about it and have those available. So if someone's like, yeah, I want to do that trip. Like, you know, for spring break for a lot of families, they, you know, they go to Disneyland or whatever. But the next year they're like, they don't want to do that. So they're like, what do we do? And my daughter absolutely loved going and doing ones where she was able to do a national park, um, the Junior Ranger program. Mm -hmm. But they have them for places like Boston, where you can go and do the USS Constitution and the Freedom Trail. And so we have a lot of kind of historical, um, like spring breaks, where we threw in a theme park because we went to like Cedar Point. But then we went and drove through... Gettysburg to see where the Battle of Gettysburg happened and um, 
went to Philadelphia and just different places. So I'm going to make different recipes. My first job is to make my recipe for my girls trip that I'm planning with some people to go do cooking classes in Paris and Italy because I love to cook and they like to cook. So it'll be fun to go learn to do some bread, some patisseries. I want to go make how, how to, I want to go learn how to make a perfect baguette and I never have to buy them again and they'll be fresh and fabulous. I love me some baguettes. All right, in you go. Okay, so this is the new candy coated jelly bean. It's part of the new kind of candy coated collection. I'll show you real quick. I have them all right here because we were we were oohing and on on them. So they're really, really pretty. Um, they all have a little bit of a fine glitter to them. And so this collection is available on my website if you go to the new arrivals section. It's really, really pretty. So we are going to use this one because it's got some blue to it, but it's going to have this pink, gorgeous shimmer. All right. So I'm going to eyeball it and I'm going to be like, I'm going to leave this one just turquoise this one I'm going to full cover because I'm gonna to have to file the sides of this at the end to get any of that color out I hate when that happens but it happens you just have to know how to fix it and then I'm gonna get an ombre brush and on this one I'm going to apply on the tip And we're going to ombre this one up like a glitter fade. What do you think? Fun. I like it. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. so, and it gives you and I'll leave color. that one solid and then we'll full cover this one too. Gives you what? It's pretty. It gives you a little nice pop. Mm -hmm. It is fun. It's kind of like the Miami collection from Gel Play, but the Miami collection are much chunkier sparkles. So you get that really pretty iridescent going on, um, but it's finer sparkles. So. This is so beautiful. Mm-hmm. She's loving it. I love it already. <laughs> but I always love my nails. I'm do that one. Those have a cool effect. Must be so many uses. Probably gorgeous over black and white. Yeah, it's really cool over black. You definitely get a completely different look. Um, on my website, I posted um, pictures of it over black. But I love that you can have this great color and do it on this, and then you're able to carry out this really pretty simple design. Um, and another announcement, the Nail Camp website has all the classes listed for camp this year. There are over 85 unique classes for nail techs. 85. If you can't find things to do with 85 classes, that's a little crazy. Mm -hmm. You should be able to find I'm 85 classes. Fine. Yes. Yeah, Tanisha here has her nail license so she can come. So I'm going to go through and just kind of fix these so when I top coat it, it's ready. Now with this one, it's pretty hard to get into that corner. So I'm just going to kick on my e-file, turn it kind of on medium. And I'm just going to come into this corner here. And get that little bit smoothed out that wanted to go there. Okay. Do any of you have clients' nails that are this lovely, very rounded top and gravity likes to fight you? It happens. Sometimes if I know it's going to happen, I will just do flash cure two nails at a time to prevent anything. But I'm just going to make sure that 
shape is how I want it. And there's nothing funky. Sometimes I do this right at the end. Most of the time I do. I will do it at the end also. But I'm just kind of preliminary doing it because there was a little bit more in a couple spots than I like. And because of this color being so, so creamy and solid, I wanted to make it perfect. All right. Now we're just going to go straight into our gorgeous top coat. So I'm using Luxio Gloss because it is my favorite. Now, if I'm worried that this is going to run again, I can just flash it real quick, like. Let's give it two seconds real quick. Okay. And continue on. Sometimes it's nice, you know, I, one of the reasons I do this is because salon nails are so different than doing a tip. I watch a lot of, you know, demonstration videos of designs or whatever, and it's like, yeah, that's all great and perfect every time when you do it on just a tip like that. But on a real nail, in real time, you know, I'm not going to take three hours for this fill. you got to look at every little thing and take care of everything you can. And make them as gorgeous as possible in your allotted time. Okay, there you go, please. Justine says she loves the ombre one. It is a really cool effect to have that ombre on there. And it's so simple. Just use your good ombre brush and blend it out. I love when you've got glitter that makes life easier, but so pretty. Thanks, Justine, for chiming in. Where are you from, Justine? I know Val is our fun European, although we have a couple of them. I've got um, our, my gorgeous friend, Susanna, who used to live in Paris, but right now she's in Australia. She came to nail camp last year, and she's going to make her way, I believe. On her way back to Paris, she's going to stop and do nail camp in October here, so it'll be fun to have her up here in my neck of the woods. I met her last year at, uh, or I guess 2022, when we did nail camp in Texas, and she became just such a fun friend and I met her in um, in Paris last summer her and her husband when me and my mom uh, my mom and my daughter and my husband went we went on vacation last year and spent a few days in Paris and then we went out and into the countryside to Poudafou which is the coolest non-ride theme park in the world it's just the neatest place and uh, they came out and I spent a couple days with them. So it's fun to see the Europeans come out for nail camp. She says there's just nothing like it in Europe. And so she's coming back, which is fun. Any tips for encapsulating flowers? Sometimes when finished filing, I file right through. Yeah, because you're finished filing. So you need to make sure that you are removing, if you're going to be finished filing, you need to remove almost everything that is on the nail before you apply your flower. Because um, if you have product and then your flower and then product, that product underneath is going to make the flower too close to the surface and you're going to file through it. So if you're encapsulating and finished filing, 
then you need to file most of the product off to get it really low. If you can put a flower on and just top coat with Trinity or whatever um, and not finish file over that, then you'll be golden. That's what I usually do is I'm not going to try to remove almost all the nail to encapsulate it. I'm going to apply that over my color and my color's ready and the flower's ready. But if you're building it into the nail, you need your nail needs to be almost bare underneath so you don't have product pushing that flower all the way to the surface. I hope that makes sense. Justine's in the UK. Well, hello. Do you go to the scratch party? I pay attention to that because I have met some nail techs from the UK. I can't. <laughs> But they have that awesome award ceremony. They have a huge award ceremony for nail techs in the UK. And it's like fancy with dresses and the whole thing. They don't do nothing here like that. No fanciness at all. I think it'd be fun to get all dressed up. Alex Fox puts that on from Scratch Magazine. And she uh, should be writing a new article about nail camp soon, which I'm excited to read. Soon, which I'm excited to read.